guys welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated and team has had one check my progress on task number five so first of all just log in with your credentials and once you're done with this just simply click on the checkbox and click on agree and continue now what you have to do just simply search for the kubernetes cluster and click over here now just wait just wait for a second and click on this unwanted pop-up and then click on this three dot click on connect and click on this run in cloud shell it will take a couple of seconds so just wait for that click on continue okay so it's done now one command is already created for us so just hit enter and click on authorize now let me just increase the text size for you okay so it's done now what you do just simply come on the task number two copy this command carefully and run over here and sometime what happened this command is not properly configured like addition is not properly written over here and if you face any kind of error after executing this command just refresh the page and again check the command okay now just wait and let's see And it's done as you can see i didn't face any kind of error so that's when this command is properly executed now just copy this command run over here and once you run this command you will get one token so what you have to do with that token just copy this third number command run over here and once you hit enter you will ask for the token so just copy this token carefully okay and just make sure that token is not visible just paste and hit enter okay now again scroll down copy this command run over here scroll down then copy this command and just wait for this command get execute and it's done now run the last command of this task and just wait for to the get external ip once we're done with this meanwhile you can just do one thing open the online notepad now what you do just simply scroll down copy this thing carefully do not copy that last full stop okay just do not copy this copy like this okay just ignore this full stop Come back over here paste over here let me increase the size for you okay now just wait until you get external ip over here and it's done now just copy this external ip come back just copy this carefully come back over here and paste between this like this and just make sure that there is no extra space like this command must look like this now copy this open the new tab paste over here just wait for a second click on advance and click on proceed now it's loading now what you do just simply scroll down copy this admin paste over here then copy this password and paste over here and just simply click on create okay now what we need we need our license key for that just simply scroll down copy this command carefully go back to your dashboard and first of all we have to just press ctrl c for terminating this command and just run the command over here which is just copy from lab instruction now just please pay attention over here copy the license key carefully if you make any mistake while copying the license key you are not able to enter into prisma just simply click on register and if you copy the license key carefully you will get success message just simply click on close now what you have to do just wait and click on this unwanted pop-up now click on this manage then click on this defender just wait for a second then click on names and here you can see click to add just simply click over here wait for a second page will reload click on advance click on proceed and it's loading And it's done now what you have to do please pay attention over here click on deploy just wait and scroll down and here you can see from the point number three just choose the console option the third option okay now again just simply scroll down come on the point number 14 and from here the node use con container runtime this just enable this thing like this now from here you have to choose a linux like this now copy this install command come back to your kubernetes and run the command over here and now just wait until this command is executed we will done with the task number two as well and what is happening over in the older version of this lab once we come over here and click on this check my progress we are done with the lab okay now they had one check my progress on the task number five so basically just wait for this command to get executed 
and it's done now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue sometime it might take time to update a score okay now just if you want you, if you can just simply click on check my progress for a couple of time or if you want you can just move forward with the task number five now what you have to do now here please pay attention i request you please use a nano editor do not use the vim editor okay so what you have to do just copy this file name copy that file name just type nano nano space and paste the file name hit enter then you are in the editor now just copy this content paste over here and how to save this file Control x shift y and hit enter like this okay now just for the cross verification just copy this cat command and run over here and if you are able to get this kind of output that means you have properly create this file now what you have to do just simply scroll down copy this command and run over here now just wait and as you can see we got the output like pod slash has created now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress you are done with this lab sometime it take time to update the score no need to worry about that meanwhile if you want just simply scroll up and just check the score over here we will get a score without any issue over here as you can see now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress we will get a score without any issue okay now just simply come on the task number five and just wait for a couple of minutes and let's see the score And as I said, after a couple of minutes, we got a score. And as you can see, we got a 100 out of 100. And that's the way we have to complete this lab. If you still have any doubts, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a good day.